All of this time, I thought that there was no way he would be able to be found. On July 18, 1944, William Lester Lukring was on an Air Force plane shot down over Germany in World War II. The 28-year-old was declared dead the next day. Seven years later, his body was deemed unrecoverable. Now exactly 80 years to the day, he will finally be laid to rest alongside his family in his hometown of Metropolis, Illinois. His nephew, Kevin Skahan, grew up in Ramona. The Department of Defense was able to use Skahan's DNA to identify his uncle's remains. Skahan was told his uncle died when the plane exploded mid-flight. He was on a B-17G flying fortress similar to this aircraft. I thought the plane blew up in the air, so I, I couldn't imagine. In 2012, a crash site was discovered just south of Memmingen, Germany. I thought that his plane was crash-landed by the pilot who stayed on board because he knew my uncle and another um, air crew member were injured in the back, and I guess my uncle was trying to help the other guy get a parachute on. And uh, I guess they probably didn't make it through the crash landing. Skahan spent his life honoring his uncle by having Lukring's squadron logo customized on his motorcycle and a mural of a B-17 in his bedroom. And it looks like it's flying right into my bedroom every morning when I wake up. Now Skahan and his family are traveling to Metropolis to lay his uncle to rest at last. People from across the country will gather for the service. You no, know, I don't really know that many stories about him from back then. You know, it's just, uh, there's a whole group of people that have been emailing me and telling me things, and it's pretty amazing. So I can't wait to get back there to visit with everybody. In Ramona, I'm Alex Live for CBS.